What's going on, crew? This is Ralph. Back with Arn in Lawn Care. <laughs> crew outside here today using my truck as a workbench gonna replace the outside tube of my 280T trimmer and uh, the exhaust cover uh, actually busted it up a little bit the other day I'll turn you around here and let you see it Uh, let's flip you around here, that way y'all can see it pretty good. As you can see, I've already got it apart because I bent my shaft on my weed eater. So what we're going to do today, like I said, I bought me exhaust cover because it busted right here. And bought me a brand new shaft. We're going to put this thing together, starting with the exhaust cover and then the rest of it. We're going to bring you along with us and uh, see if we can't figure this out on our own. I, it, it's a lot easier to take apart than I'd say probably putting it together. Uh, Got to grease everything up, of course. So uh, y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll get right to it. All right, crew. Here we have the 280T motor. Of course, like I said, I already have everything off of it. I'm going to, have to go ahead and take this exhaust cover off. Don't need a star bit for this part. It is the Allen head to take this part off. Just two Allen head screws. We'll go ahead and take them things off of here. Get this bad boy running again. Cause I was silly enough to uh, hold it on my lap when I was riding my lawnmower and tore it all to pieces when I got caught in something. I'm guessing it was a tree from what I saw. But you never know. You live and you learn. I tell you, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck whatsoever. Any luck at all. We're gonna get this on anyhow. All right, got that one out. Flip it over, you got another little Allen head screw right here. Go ahead and get that thing going. Turn around here, maybe you can see it. A little better screws right there. And voila, busted exhaust cover piece. I actually got these parts while we're sitting here doing this and I'm not boring you to death. Which that's a heat shield right there if y'all didn't know that. I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> but I got these parts off of ereplacementparts.com really good website if y'all don't know pretty reasonable prices for most of the stuff I mean they got every part if you want to fix it but here's the uh, little Allen head screw that goes down in here and all you do like I said you pop that one off you got the two screw holes there you got a little lip piece up here take it slide it down in and just set it there Put your screws back in, you're good to go with your new exhaust cover piece. Can't beat it. I'd say there's going to be a lot of wind in this. Oh, this old bag over there. Wind in this. I always have to do this stuff outside. My building ain't really big enough for me to get in there. And plus, I like to feel comfortable when I do this stuff. Mess around and all that. Yeah, but uh, if you want any type of parts whatsoever, go ahead and go over to uh, that E replacement parts. 
I've got a good website. I found all kinds of parts for everything that I have on there. And uh, most of it is pretty reasonable. I mean, unless you're going to buy the gear box for your weed eater. Like the 280T was $110 just for it. And then, uh, I can't remember how much other parts was. But the shaft, it was only $34. To uh, buy a new one of those. Because you make a mistake. You learn. After you spend out so much money, you learn to start watching a little better. And I guess I hopefully have learned from that. There we go. That is done and done. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to put back on there. Nothing major. Nothing major on that part. But like I said, here's it. Where I broke it. I mean, it would have still worked. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just aggravated me because it's only two weeks old. Two weeks. All right, for our other part here, putting the shaft on, I'm gonna move y'all around, put me on some gloves, and uh, get started. All right, crew. We've got our flex shaft and my phone going off in the background. Like I said, I'll show y'all this. That's the other shaft that was broke and bent and blah, blah, blah. Aggravating as I'll get out. It's useless now. Got our new shaft here. Let's open this bad boy up. And get ready to put her on. All right. Got some burrs in there. Should be all right. First thing I'm gonna do, they had some kind of type of uh, like gray grease in it. I'm just gonna put some regular grease down in here on mine. Woo! Well, I hit my truck. You got to uh, be able to multitask there. Got to multitask when you're putting all that good grease in there. All right, we got some grease now. A whole lot easier just to slap this down in by hand. And then we'll clean the outside of it off, of course. You'll be getting dirty. I'll just take you a big old glob of it, put her down in there. Don't be scared of it. There we go. Next thing we want to do is uh, actually take our greased up hands and uh, re grease the inside shaft there. So. Get it nice and greased up. Take a little bit more here. Make it good and sloppy. There we go. Put your flex shaft piece. Get it good and greasy. And then, after you get her all greased up there, there is a small tube going down the inside of the shaft here. Which I doubt you'll be able to see it because I packed it full of grease there. You just got to pack the ends is all you got to pack because it's got a little tube that goes down through the middle. Then you just slide her on back in. Just like so. Until she comes out the other end like it. Then take off our greasy little gloves here. <laughs> step by step, people. Step by step. All right, we got that off. We're gonna go ahead, start putting our stuff back on. I didn't disconnect the throttle cable 
or the uh, ignition or stop button or whatever you want to call it. Didn't do none of that. All I did was loosen up my handle and take it off the shaft. So what we're going to do now is actually we're going to replace and put back on our head in here. And of course, so there's that little gray putty stuff if y'all can see that in there. But you got to line it up in there. And it's just trial and error is all it is. You just got to make sure that it'll that it'll lock. I don't know why I went sort of well on you. Just make sure we there we go. There we go. I think that'll be all right. Now we're gonna go and uh, switch to our star bit. I believe it's the smallest one too. Well, not the smallest one, but go ahead and you got three little star screws up there, and we'll just. end that little piece right there so you got to make sure that it's seated correctly down inside your gearbox for it to turn and as you can see when I turn that that it actually is seated properly so we got that done the next thing all we got to do is attach the motor baby that's a success all right of course the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our handle back on and I believe she'll be ready to go and we'll go test it out see how it does
280T put back together. And now all you have to do is do uh, just small adjustments to where it's set back to either factory or the way you like it. I'm gonna set it up the way I like it, so no big deal there. Gonna do that and uh, go out here and then test it out, weed eat a little bit with it and uh, bring y'all along. But that's pretty, I mean, it's pretty much simple. Uh, E-replacementparts.com bought the outside shaft, I think it was 34 bucks. Uh, the exhaust cover was like eight, eight-ish bucks. So no big deal on that stuff. Replaced it, got my data running again because there wasn't nothing wrong with the motor at all. I just, like I said, when you ain't watching and you do something stupid, you ended up messing your equipment up. So be careful out there. Watch what y'all are doing. I know I ain't the only one out there with bad luck. So just be careful, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of this adjusted up just the way I like it. I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. And uh, I'll turn her back on when we go out here and weed eat a little bit with it and uh, try it out. Catch y'all here in a little bit. All right, crew. Got the 280T put back together. And now all you have to do is do uh, just small adjustments to where it's set back to either factory or the way you like it. I'm gonna set it up the way I like it, so. No big deal there, gonna do that and uh, go out here and then test it out, weed eat a little bit with it and uh, bring y'all along. But that's pretty, I mean, it's pretty much simple. Uh, E-replacementparts.com bought the outside shaft, I think it was 34 bucks. Uh, the exhaust cover was like eight eight-ish bucks so no big deal on that stuff replaced it got my data running again because there wasn't nothing wrong with the motor at all I just like I said when you ain't watching and you do something stupid you ended up messing your equipment up so be careful out there watch what y'all are doing I know I ain't the only one out there with bad luck so just be careful, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of this adjusted up just the way I like it. I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. And uh, I'll turn her back on when we go out here and weed eat a little bit with it and uh, try it out. Catch y'all here in a little bit. was how you changed your outer shaft on the 280T. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the video of my mistake and having to fix it. Maybe it'll help somebody out there, <clears throat> you know, who messed up theirs too. So, <laughs> and that phone's driving me nuts. Anyway, we appreciate y'all for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're almost up to 600 subs. We're still trying to grow the channel. So if you ain't a member here, come back, hit that subscribe button, become a member of the crew. If you watch our videos, you're 50% more attractive. If you subscribe to us, you're 100% more attractive, and I guarantee it. And until next time, we'll catch you after fixing something.